Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you live, whenever you're watching this. Um, I'm gonna be cooking again because I'm not really in the mood to do book stuff, which is unusual, but um found this recipe on Facebook and it's for apple pancakes and my mom bought apples for me, so um, I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna start off with um, peeling the skin off. So that's, I don't think I'm gonna, definitely not gonna record this. He was so, see this is not, the dude in the video did it in like <laughs> one, he must have a strong, okay, this is not working. Um, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. The thing about this is that you take away apple, and I don't wanna do that, but it's working faster and better, so. I also picked like the biggest apple of the bunch. It's not, look at me go, oh my God. Proud of me. I'm currently in the middle of um, Wild at Heart. I'm on like chapter 24, I think. They're about to go get chili at that little like at the bar with Muriel. Does Muriel piss anyone else off? Because that one bothers me. Also, this recipe is um, Jameson, like the alcohol. It's like cold brew or something. And I thought I needed alcohol, but I don't. So this is kid friendly. But look, I'm very proud of myself right now. Skin in an apple. I've never done this. We usually use, we have like a, um, which is probably what I should have done, but um, we have like this apple skinner where you put, put the, the end of it and then you spin it and um, it takes the core out. So that's probably what I should have done, but I'm so far deep into this that I'm just gonna continue. So I feel like that, is that from Proud Family, the guy you never see his head? That's what I feel like right now. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna, he only uses one apple. So I think I'm just gonna do this one apple. Because I also don't know if I like this or not. So there's that. Okay, well, I'm going to now cut this in slices. I'm gonna get a cutting board and cut it. And then I'll see you in a minute for the pancake batter. Okay, so I got eight pancakes, I guess, out. And now I'm going to cut the center out. And then I'll be back. Okay, so I did it. I'm gonna pause it. Oh yeah, so I wanted to show you guys, he does it with, or she, I don't know. Um, with like a little tool to cut out the center or maybe that's a I don't know what that is it could be a um a teaspoon thing like a measuring thing on god I don't know it could have been this but I don't know, but uh, basically 
I just cut it out with the knife that I used to slice them. They don't look good, but it doesn't matter what they look like. So I'm gonna make the batter next. I'm gonna get a bowl and stuff, see in a second. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is get a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and put all the apples in a bowl and then mix them up. I thought a half a teaspoon wasn't gonna be enough, but I guess it goes a long way. And then you just mix them. I can't do this one-handed, so. <laughs> More cinnamon in, probably like not even like a quarter because it wasn't covering all of them. So I think it just depends on how many apple slices that you have. So now I'm going to put an egg and milk in here. Need two tablespoons of melted butter and then one tablespoon of vanilla and one egg, which I think I mentioned that. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll, the butter is actually probably melted by now. Okay, how's your day going? My mom bought this calorie free, fat free syrup and I just hit it with my elbow and broke the cap and knocked it all over the floor. So go me. Butter's melted though, so that's fun. Oh my God. I'm gonna clean up the stuff. Cool. Okay. So, my mom's home. <laughs> I just made her leave the room. But I put three-fourths a cup of milk into the wet ingredients, and then a cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking powder, and then I put it through a sifter, and now I'm going to mix it. Okay, so it's mixed, and now it's time to put the apples in the batter, and then cook them. Fine. I'm gonna do that. I was mixing it, it went right out the side, so that's another mess. Cool, how's your day going? Apple. And then you plop it in. You spin it. Oh God. And then, I don't think this is gonna turn out well. <laughs> then we just do that over again. So, bye. Hello, I'm editing and I just wanted to say that when you like start to cook the pancakes on the stove, make sure it's at like a medium to low heat. I think ours was on like five or six. I called my mom in and that's why I didn't really record, but um, she said to kind of wait, which is kind of like for every pancake, wait for like the bubbles to pop. And um, kind of, I kind of waited a little bit longer after that because they weren't really brown. So wait until they're like brown a little bit and the apple will be hot and it was really good. Oh yeah. These are yummy. They're delish. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Good job. Thanks. It's putting the vanilla away and it spilled everywhere because I dropped it. I, I hate me. I hate it. Oh my god. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, if you tried to make these, um, comment down below. Tell me how you liked them. I'm also going to link the recipe down below so you don't have to like follow me because I didn't really explain it that well, but follow me on all my social medias. They will also be linked in the description. I stay safe, uh, wear a mask, 
hand sanitize, all that jazz. Um, yeah. See you next time. Bye.